All right, third graders, today we're going to be looking at frames and arrows and finding patterns in our math. Uh, so today's lesson is lesson two, uh, unit two, chap, uh, lesson 11, and we're on page 57. Find the pattern and fill in the missing numbers and rule if needed. So my rule means that every time I see this arrow moving in this direction, I'm going to add five. So to help myself get organized, I'm gonna go ahead and write and add five above every arrow that I see that goes in that direction. This is my starting box. And if I move in this direction, my rule is to add five. And so I'm gonna start with 10 in this box, add five, and my answer will be 15. If I'm at 15 and my rule is to add five, then my answer is 20. Now this one's already written for us, but it doesn't mean we wanna skip over it. It means we wanna double check and make sure that we're following the rule just right. So if this is my 20 and then my rule is add five, 20 plus five is 25, yes. So I'm gonna check that. That means I'm on the right track. Then I'm gonna start from here again. I have 25 and I'm gonna add five you got it, it's 30, and add five, 35. Okay, now on this one, I don't have a rule. I need to figure out what my rule is. So to figure out what my rule is, I'm gonna go where I see two numbers side by side, and I'm gonna ask myself, what is happening? If I start here and I go over to my 70, does my number get bigger or smaller? Well, if I'm at 75 and I go to 70, that means my number gets smaller. So it's going to subtract. Well, how much am I subtracting? 75 minus 70 would be five. So right now I'm gonna assume that my rule is to subtract five, but I'm gonna test it. So every time I see this arrow and it moves in this direction, I'm going to subtract five. So if I'm at 70 and I go five less, should be 65 and here's my pattern again subtract 5 does it equal 60 yes so I'm on the right track so I can uh, assume that my rule is to subtract 5 but we're gonna keep going 60 subtract 5 would be 55 and 55 subtract 5 does that equal 50 yes so I'm gonna check that then my rule is to subtract five. Okay, now we're gonna move into some multiplication. This one tells me my rule is to multiply by one, but I don't have to be concerned because I know that anything times one is itself. Okay, so let's start by putting a uh, times one on every arrow. So something times one equals, and then eight times one equals, something times one something times one and times one, okay? So something times one equals eight. Well, I'm not really sure yet. So let's see if we can find our pattern later. Well, I do know eight times one is eight and eight times one is eight, check. And then eight times one is eight, check. And eight times one is eight. So what would my first box be? Well, what times one equals eight? Eight. Okay, and my rule is correct. Okay, on this last one, we're gonna be doing division. So I'm gonna divide by two. So go ahead and put a divide by two on every arrow. Divide by two, whoops, not minus. Here's my arrow, divide by two, divide by two and divide by two. Okay, so I know that any time I multiply by two, I get two of equal groups that I add together. Well, this time I'm gonna split them equally instead of uh, multiplying them. So how do I start by figuring this out? Well, they've already done some of the hard work for me so I can look at that pattern. 48 broken into two groups equals 24. 
and 24 broken into two groups equals 12. Now what's 12 into two groups? Well, I could go like this. I could say here's a group and here's a group. And I'm going to split them equally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So how many equal numbers do I have in each group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this group. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this group. So what would be 12 split into two equal groups? 6. And I'm going to do the same thing from my last one. 6 into two equal groups would equal, and I want you to solve and take a picture and send it to me on Seesaw.